Hey guys, welcome back. Drip and Farm for Bob and I'm your host, Drip Coach, dropping knowledge bombs on all Drip ecosystem related projects. And even Spritz now is part of that Drip ecosystem. So I just want to actually highlight them in this video because they seem to be a company that is doing things right, transparent, upfront, telling you what's going on, keeping you in the loop. And for those of you that may not know, and uh, that's because they got it fixed relatively quickly, they had a glitch in the matrix. So their um, Twitter account was actually um, de deleted. And I got this from uh, Driptopian, shouts out to Lee. It was about a day and a half ago. He sent me a message in our private group and said, hey, what happened to Spritz? And I was like, oh man, what, what do you mean? And I went to go look and it was um, their actual Twitter that said deleted. This account has been deleted. So I reached out to Chris and via email and because he had just emailed me like 21 hours prior to that and then i sent this email and then he emails back like within a couple hours says and tells exactly what it was basically they changed their birth date on the profile and then they got flagged and put in twitter jail but what i want to highlight is the fact that that's a ceo of a multi-million dollar company trying to integrate a fiat on and off ramp in multiple countries and he has the ability to keep the transparency and trust within his ecosystem so that people are aware of what's going on. Someone in his team is constantly updating their Twitter. Obviously, if you lose access to the Twitter, then you won't know, but he responded to me via email. That says a lot, man, and I just wanted to highlight that because that's, that's amazing. That is exactly what people need in the space. The whole reason we got into DeFi, I'm sorry, and the crypto period, is transparency and trustlessness. The opaque, centralized, agencies that have always been there is why we've moved away. And so having someone like the Spritz team and someone like uh, the CEO, Chris Sheehan, being transparent, you know, even when things are, he's not able to get that information out because the channel he was using is blocked. It was in his discord. And I had posted a picture in the discord and then they just tagged a post above that and said, Hey, scroll up basically. So they had already went into different means to highlight what had happened there. But anyway, now they're back online, everything's all good. And I wanted to highlight also that they had this um, blog that went out on the 29th. So they sent this out. And right before this blog, they had sent me an email that had basically, I wanna say it's this video here is what he sent me. And he was asking for my feedback. Was this good to help the Drip community understand how to pay with Drip? You guys had already seen in my video that I had done this, but they're doing big things, highlighting us, uh, recognizing the power of the drip community. Don't sleep on drip community. That was nine hours ago. Uh, you can now pay your bills and load up prepaid. So they're out there supporting us. So I just want to continue to support them. And, um, there is some alpha in this that he mentioned that the affiliate for the community is in the works. So I don't know what that means or when that's coming. I'm no longer allowed to share my emails. <laughs> I got in trouble, so I can't show you guys that transparency, but you guys know I'm trying to keep you in the loop and be as upfront as possible. So um, he did send me a message and tell me that that affiliate part of this, my elaborate master plan is still being developed. And um, yeah, I, I know the team will be working on it and put it to work. And it just may take a little while because that's definitely, um, probably not an easy process to iterate, but the fact that they're shouting us out on their Twitter, the fact that he is emailing and staying in contact with the community um, is just uh, aces in my book. There's nothing, I can't say anything else about it. It's just as good as you would expect from someone of this caliber in a company of this size and the potential that they have, like they have the potential to be a behemoth in the space. If you think, you know, Binance or Coinbase is huge, imagine a light KYC company that actually doesn't take custody of your assets and allows you to bridge between the real world and the crypto world. Coinbase, Binance, all these other centralized exchanges, you have to actually kind of host your assets there temporarily. So let's just say you sent your funds to Binance and then we know Binance is great, but I just want to use them as an example because we're all tied to the drip network with Binance. Let's say something happened, a black swan event when you sent them there. And then all of a sudden they got to send out that notice that we are no longer um, doing any exchanges on BUSD or USDT. We have halted exchange for the temporary time being, whatever the case may be. You never know if that's going to come up. Well, Spritz does it different. It's a smart contract. It's decentralized, happens immediately, and you don't have to worry about anything. And that bill goes out. 
So they are, in my opinion, going to take over some of those uh, centralized exchange uh, market values because they they solve real problems. Like, granted, of course, centralized exchanges allow you to do trading and there are all these other um, things with token speculation and stuff. But this allows actual normies a uh, avenue to move in and out of crypto, and that's huge. That is what we need for massive adoption. People want to know how can I spend this magic internet money, and Sprint solves that problem. So this was just literally a highlight video. You guys saw I tried to use the uh, fiat, uh, sorry, the prepaid card for the ad spend. It works great for other things, just not so much for ad spend. So I don't know if we'll ever get something like that fixed. But also, this is the affiliate program that I think is what they're going to try to integrate with what we're going to be doing with the Drip community. And I'll be bringing you those updates when that happens. Don't know when, but I know the team is working hard on that. So. That's all I got. Just want to give a big shout out to Spritz. You guys have seen at the end of every single one of my videos, I have them linked there. I have been beating their drum uh, very loud for the drill community. And this is a great step in the right direction. And I think this also caters, like I mentioned before, to a wider audience. I know Forex is big on the decentralized, I'm sorry, the uh, anonymity and um, non-KYC stuff. But I have a hypothesis that the bulk of people in crypto and the bulk of people that will get in, they prefer the easiest means to do so and will happily give a phone number or whatever the case may be, as long as it's simple, quick, and easy. So you'll you'll have people like this that are actually gonna collect a larger percent of the population because Chris is forward facing and you can see him and you know he's doxxed and stuff like that and people put more credibility behind that. The average, the average person. Yes, I know crypto right now probably has a large population of people that like the anonymity, but I would be willing to bet that the bulk of the entire global population that look to use things, they look to use things that solve problems with the least amount of friction. And I think because of that, not as many people are worried about any kind of KYC because they're not trying to maintain some level of anonymity or privacy. They use social media. They've got a cell phone that they link to a Gmail. They've done you know, all sorts of other stuff somewhere they've KYC and they don't think anything about it when they plug that information in. So, but we'll see. I'm actually going to put a poll out on my channel and see how many people have KYC in some form or fashion and how many are completely 100% anonymous like Forex, where he said he never even had a social media account or a MySpace. Just curious to see what the numbers are because that'll give me some definitive metrics. Anyway, shout out to Spritz. You guys know the drill. Smash that HBO special. Help brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.